All right, welcome to the vlog. We're about to step on the set. The first take. Hopefully, we don't need a second take. First take. Wanted to take that show on the road, and you know where they stop. Clips in South Carolina, baby home of the Tigers. So it's fantastic. Enjoyed it. I'm looking to see what Coach Twinney does up there. So I'm always trying to learn a thing or two from the man. Atmosphere that you have, so remember to hold on to that and value it and cherish it and hold on to it for dear life because it's the kind of stuff that will propel you in the future. And not only can you take that with you to survive and prosper where you are, you can teach others how to do it. And guess what? They're gonna have to listen to you because you did it. And the reason why is because y'all are champions, you're winners. Don't just appreciate the fact that you're champions, don't just appreciate why you're champions. Recognize the fact that you have the power to influence other people to be champions in their specific walk of life. It's real easy for me to come here and apologize to y'all for picking against y'all because I know you're worthy. You ain't worthy because you won. You're worthy because of how you won. Don't just be focused on being winners. Be focused on helping to create winners. Appreciate y'all. jobs in the entire country. I get to build personal relationships and really pour into people and then I get just as much out of it. And so we really want them to understand that their influence uh, is so far reaching. Each day I show up to kind of help them make their career dreams come true. I just know the platform that they have here at Clemson and it's a great one. I love working with students like Kayvon and I've really gotten to see him as he's become an ambassador and become a prominent leader of this team, really change in his communication style, his maturity, what he's after, his professional goals. Um, I mean, the, the sky's the limit for that guy. They're so gifted, they're so talented and, and they're important. And, and so every time we create an opportunity for them to be exposed to something new, be exposed to something different, be exposed to a dream, uh, be exposed to New York City, 
I mean, come on. Like seeing Xavier Kelly light up when he finds out, hey, he was afforded the opportunity to go intern with Adobe. I get to have those many occasions of seeing the joy on their faces when they find another passion that is similar to their passion for football, but now it's a different avenue for them to be successful. So it just brings me joy each and every day to provide them with opportunities of a lifetime like that, but opportunities that don't just stop with them, but trickle down to their families and their communities. These guys are hilarious. <laughs> They're always like improv and everything. Nothing's ever scripted. This is just them being themselves. Yeah, regular roommate. Uh, the, all these guys are very funny and collectively they are a trip. They really are. These guys are kind of like a poster for our team. Everyone knows Axel and Ricky and Beetle. We got two of the biggest clowns on the team and they think they're rock stars. I didn't even know Josh Jackson was a part of it. And they see if you look closely on the shirts, it got, it's got Bangkok on there from uh, when we went this summer. It started off as a joke at a karaoke night, but long behold, here we are. I am a part of the, like, seriously, the original fan club, because he, uh, he bought a guitar in our house. Not, not even joking. He went and bought a guitar and an amp and plays it very loud every night after practice, just to kind of, just kind of soothe him before we go to sleep, like, loud. It really, this really is become like a, a joke, but then it's really serious. They're actually pretty good when they perform. You can find them on any given night in Clemson performing. I haven't even got to make one of their concerts yet, but I heard, I heard it's like a, like a bucket list activity that you gotta do while you're here. I'm gonna have to catch on the next one. Hey buddy, how you doing? This is Coach Stiff. Good, good. Hey buddy, I just wanted to check in and see how you're doing. I know it's been 24 hours since we last talked. I just wanted to see. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> This is so funny because it's so true. It's funny because of like how accurate it is. Like coaches will call you and they don't really have anything to say, but they'll just ask you what you're doing. And <laughs> the tectonic plates. I watched this video probably a million times. He is so good. He really needs to look into acting. But uh, this is like, we even call him Coach Stiff now. Man, he's a funny dude. We got some funny guys on this team. This is one of my favorite days of the year. Clemson Life comes. I guess they come twice, once in the fall, once in the spring. They just make, they just make us happy, honestly, just because they their, their perspective on life is so pure. Like Dave Seville always says, only disability is a bad attitude, and they always have a good attitude about life. And they know all of our names, which is, which is awesome. And so they'll come up running. They just love to be a part of it. It really gives us a good perspective on everything. It just kind of the opportunity we have and the impact we have on people that we don't even really necessarily might not even know them. The Clemson Life uh, program is awesome here. It's so cool that we get to share you know, experience with them like this. Nolan, actually my roommate right here, and Jake, I know Jake pretty well because they went to the same high school. Coach Sweeney leading the way, like always. Each bye week we do a community service activity um, as a team. This was cool because it's actually back in my hometown. So my, what this is, my grandma lives like five, 10 minutes away. I actually live probably like 15 minutes away from the spot. So it really is cool to go back and get back to a community, but in fact, my own community. So Anderson forever. It's just really nice to get back and serve to everybody. We got to do a bunch of different things. It was bagging groceries, or mowing the lawn, or help repaint things. Coach Sweeney still calls it practicing, because we are practicing. We're learning how to serve and care for others. And you know, it's all, it's bigger than just ball. Not every school does this, but I think it's important. We take one day uh, during the bye week to just get off, get away, keep perspective on life, because it's, it's not all about ball. It's building tools for later on in life. That's something really cool about this program, is that they care about that. And, and just being a man, not a, not a ball player. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.